Welcome back guys, it's George from Gem Mint 10 Collector's World. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some retro pack breaks. First off, I got some six packs of 1991 Upper Deck Baseball. And in these packs, we're gonna be trying to find that Michael Jordan SP1 uh, short print card. Uh, that's the one where he's uh, batting in the White Sox uniform and uh, that card has been taken off and climbing recently. So we're gonna try and find it in these six packs. And the other six packs are gonna be 86 Leaf. And we're going to try and find that Fred McGriff rookie in those ones. Uh, first off, guys, if this is the first time you're watching, please subscribe to our channel. We have amazing videos coming up. Um, and um, we have about three orders coming back from PSA. If you guys like those uh, um, PSA reveal videos, those are the hottest videos that, are, that I get. Um, also, we got um, some box breaks coming up and pack breaks. I'm going to be doing more retro pack breaks, guys, uh, for you guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and if there's anything you guys want to see open. Um, and also, guys, if you're looking for cards, I got 350 PSA graded cards right up for sale on my eBay store, Kalamata Geo underscore seven. I just got an order back, guys, and put a bunch of cards up there. Uh, for sale. So if you're looking for new and vintage cards, guys, go to eBay store, Kalamata Geo underscore seven. Okay, so we're going to start off with a 1991 upper deck. And um, just to let you guys know, I, uh, I broke this box and I left six packs. I did not find the Jordan in the rest of the box. Um, so it, the Jordan is usually, I don't know, one in every two boxes of the low series boxes. Um, so I didn't get it in the in the box up to these six packs. So if it's in this box, it's going to be in there. And then and here's a 86. I did the same thing with an 86. Crack the box, guys. I love cracking retro boxes, man. It's just so fun. Um, just going back to my to my childhood and 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 seeing these packs. Um, and we're gonna try and find the McGriff in this one, guys. So we're gonna start off with the 1991 upper deck. And uh, also in this uh, is a Chipper Jones. So the Chipper Jones rookie's in there. And, um, but the biggest card that we want to find out is going to be that um, Michael Jordan SP. So start off with a nice Aussie Smith. That's a cool looking card. And uh, these, packs are, these cards are all over the place. But we've got a Matt Noakes, Tim Cruz, uh, John Shelby. And we got uh, Andre Dawson, the Hawk, Hall of Famer. I'm going to put the Hall of Famers aside, guys. And if I see anything that's uh, gradable, I'll let you guys know in another video where I uh, prep the, for PSA. Um, so Leo Gomez, Scott, Ed Whit Whitten, Whitson, sorry, Benito Santiago. He had a good career. R.J. Reynolds, Jim Clancy, former Blue Jay. And uh, we got, what else do we got here? Greg Myers, Charles Nagy, that's a prospect card. So that's one of the rookies in here as well. He had a decent career, guys, not a not a Hall of Famer. Here's Lloyd Mosby, the Shaker, Chet Lemon, and we got a Baseball Heroes card, and that's one of the Nolan Ryan cards. There's a, uh, about seven or eight Nolan Ryan cards in this in this set. This is one of them. So, And I think there's also a Nolan Ryan auto, or that might, the auto might be in, in the high series, but there's also a... 2,500 autos, I think, that, that it's in the set. Um, so here we go, second pack. Looking for the Jordan SP1, guys. Roger Harris. And um, and what I usually do with these old sets is uh, I'll probably uh, take the I, I take the Hall of Famers aside, see if there's anything gradable. This is uh, the Junk Wax era, so, so basically you're just looking for maybe... Um, the, the Chipper Jones, but uh, a lot of a lot of nostalgia to these packs because obviously 1991 I was buying packs as a kid, so these packs would have been something I would have bought. Upper Deck came in '89 and just kind of changed the landscape of hot, uh, baseball cards because um, they came out and they were kind of more like higher end than the tops. So as uh, kids, you just love, and I loved, as, as obviously as kids, you just love the holograms and stuff, the new stuff that they came in this one. So let's go through the cards. Here's Bobby Bonilla. I think he's still getting paid by the Mets every year. I think there's a day that he gets a couple million every year. Here's a Henry Rodriguez um, rookie. And uh, Mark Witten. That guy had a lot of potential growing up. Didn't, uh, 
live up to uh, his um, potential, but uh, still pretty cool. We got some, a lot of these guys didn't pan out, obviously, if you could tell. There's a Mo Vaughn, calling him Maurice. There's a nice Mo Vaughn rookie. And um, that's what you get with these cards. As kids, you didn't know who was going to be good and who wasn't, so you just kind of collected everything. But there were some hot cards uh, back then. Ricky Jordan was a hot one, too, I remember. Here's a Pascal Perez. Three more packs to try and find the Jordan. Um, the rule of thumb is that Jordan cards, one in every two boxes, I believe, around there. Um, it is a short print, so it's not it's not easy. Not every box has one, so. Harold Baines, there's a Hall of Famer. Mel Hall. There's some Andy Van Slyke. So a lot of names. I see, um, remember as a kid growing up, used to, um, used to collect with my brother all the time. So, uh, we would, uh, we would know these, the guys pretty well <laughs> growing up. Here we go. Omar Vizcal. There's an early Omar Vizcal. I don't think it's his, um, rookie. Next pack. The Chipper Jones is a nice card. Um, not, it's not always... There's a Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. Um, the, these 1991 upper decks are not 100% uh, um, that they're going to grade a 10. Um, so there's a, the, the, you have a lot of stuff going on on these ones. There's a Lenny Dystra. There's a 20 Gwen. I like collecting 20 Gwen cards. That's a pretty cool card. A uh, picture of him on the bench there. Um, yeah, there, there, there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. Obviously there's a hologram and stuff like that, but, um, not always a, a, a hundred percent that these going to grade. So that's why guys, I always, I always, um, recommend there's a Barry Bonds. That's a nice picture there. That's a cool picture of him sliding in. Um, Barry Bonds is starting to climb guys. So here's a tip. If you're, um, if you're looking to, uh, to buy, get some Barry Bonds. Um, uh, the other thing that's funny is that there's a documentary coming out for um, Mark McGuire and Sosa chasing that home run record in '98, the the '60, uh, the '62, the, the they broke it, Craig Biggio. So um, McGuire and Sosa cards are going to be climbing as, like crazy. So start uh, grabbing some uh, some raw cards, guys, of those two guys. Uh, Delino the Shields. There's a guy that was hot when I was young. Um, didn't live up to. Well, he had a he had a pretty good career, but didn't live up to the. Eric Harris is another Rookie of the Year. I think the Dodgers had like three, four Rookie of the Years in a row. Um, Eric Harris was another guy that won. I think he won. Cards are all over the place. Sorry, guys. Jeff King. Um, here is a Jose Canseco. I remember that card as a kid. Uh, Conseco was hot back then, and that was around his wheelhouse there in 91, so I remember this was a hot card when we were kids. And the last few cards to find that Jordan, guys. And Matt Williams and John Wetland. So no Jordan on that one, guys. So next up, we're going to be doing the 86 Leaf. And uh, 86 Leaf is kind of the Canadian... Uh, this was the Canadian version of the uh, 86 Don Ross. Um, so, uh, big uh, rookies in this one's going to be the Galarraga and obviously the McGriff. I love that McGriff card. McGriff, uh, uh, growing up in Toronto, obviously McGriff was uh, one of my favorite players growing up. Pretty cool set, this 86 Leaf. 260 cards, guys, so really cool set. And... Um, Fred McGriff, I uh, used to remember going, he actually uh, replaced um, Willie Upshaw for the Blue Jays back in the 80s. So um, I remember him well. I used to go down to Exhibition Stadium with my brother and watch him. Here's a Duncan rookie. Teddy Higuera, I remember going to a card store as a kid and getting getting convinced that he was going to be the next like uh, <laughs> Sandy Koufax and, uh, and buying up his rookie card. <laughs> it's funny. Jim Rice, your Hall of Famer. Nice looking cards, guys. Nice and sharp. 
Um, and these cards, uh, I would actually consider uh, grading, if they are going to be high grade, um, 86 leaf, I would send them in definitely to PSA. A little tougher to get 10s, guys, because um, of the blue borders. It's just like that 71 set. Um, puzzle piece. Um, so it's pretty good. 86, the, these Don Ross and Fleers in the 80s because you don't have the gum, so you're not worried about gum damage um, in this one. So here's a Tony Pena. There's a nice Ricky Henderson. That's one I would consider. Looks looks okay. Corners, surface. That's it. What's this is one I would consider sending to PSA definitely. Always looking for Ricky cards. And uh, Gary Ward, Diamond Kings, Mike Witt, Bob Nepper. So it's basically the same uh, um, look and feel as the Don Ross, but uh, the leaf is just the Canadian version that year. Um, it's. Um, uh, some different, uh, there are some different cards between the Leaf and Don Ross, and, and in some cases, guys like OPG in baseball and um, uh, Leaf, it's uh, more valuable because they're um, they're more rare. So there's a Jack Clark, uh, Bruce Sutter Hall of Famer, and here's a, another Hall of Famer back to back: Gary Carter, Charlie Liebrandt, George Brett. That's a nice one right there. Always remember the Royals as a kid because um, in the 85, if you guys remember in 1985, um, the Jays were up 3-1 on the Royals. There's Domus Garcia. Up 3-1 on the Royals to go to the World Series and uh, they kind of choked and lost out to the, to the Royals who eventually beat the Signals Car Cardinals. So there was Jay once one of the best Jays teams there. So here's Tim Rings. The Rock. That's a nice one. I'll put that one aside for grading. And this is one of the differences cards in the Leaf to, compared to the Don Ross. They have these Canadian greats. There's Jeff Reardon. And um, yeah, it's a cool looking set. There's uh, Doyle Alexander. Nice crafty pitcher in his day. Frank White. Mike Fitzgerald. And Andre Thornton. Andre Thornton. Uh, I remember as a kid had a lot of potential, didn't kind of pan out as as everybody thought. It's nice not to worry about the um, um, to the gum card on this one. So there's Don Sutton. Here's a checklist. George Orda, Kevin McReynolds. I think that must be a, an early one of his. Tom Bernanski, Diamond King, Nick Asaski, Lou Whitaker, Willie McGee, and Rick Mailer. So we're down to our last pack, guys. Hope you enjoy these retro packs like I do. Love ripping into some retro packs. Um, more for fun. Like I, you know, value, yes, you agree. You're going to find some PSA 10s, and, and uh, they sell pretty good. But uh, I just love ripping into these old ones. Um, it's just more exciting for me and, uh, and, and compared to a new box. A new box, you know, there's Dale Murphy. New boxes are okay, but uh, they don't have this, the feel. There's Jack Morris, um, Hall of Famer. And here's the puzzle piece. It's a Hank Aaron. So all the puzzle pieces in every pack, guys, uh, they uh, they end up being uh, a big Hank Aaron. There's That's what it looks like when it's finished. John Tudor. Dennis Eckersley in his uh, Chicago uh, Cubs uniform. So... It's weird to see him uh, in that uniform, but here's Jimmy Key, one of the most underrated pitchers, I think. There's Fernando Venezuela and Mike Perry Lugo. So thank you for watching, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys want some more retro uh, pack breaks and box breaks. Um, I always enjoy ripping into these old packs. So, um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, guys. We have a lot of cool stuff coming up. PSA uh, reveal videos, box breaks and packs breaks. So, um, and I uh, always uh, love your comments. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And guys, most of these cards, and I got over 350 PSA graded cards right now on my eBay store. So go to Kalamata Geo underscore seven um, and take a look if you're interested in cards. We also do box breaks and, and group submission orders on my Facebook group page, Gem and 10 Collectors World. So if you want, go over there and I'll give you all the information. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.